I think Steve Perry and Jonathan Kane are the ones that need to have coffee. And I'll tell you what I mean coming right up. Everybody, Gary Stuckey here. Welcome back to another episode of Steve Perry News. And uh, when you get a chance, go check out my interview with Robert Fleischman, the original lead singer of Journey. He was there right before Steve got there. He had some interesting things to say. Go check it out on my podcast, anchor.fm uh, backslash Gary dash Stuckey. But just type in, you know, Google anchor.fm Gary Stuckey. Real music. And, uh, it will pop up. Interesting uh, conversation. Um, and as I was talking to Robert, uh, I was going through some of the uh, Journey Time Cubed, uh, you know, box set, and um, was looking over the little booklet in there. You know, a lot of valuable information there, and was reading about the song "Who's Crying Now." And Jonathan Cain said it was like a somebody done somebody wrong song. Remember that song? But in that little write-up on that song, it said that they wrote the song together. Steve came over to Jonathan's house. It was raining. Rain was coming down. It said rain falling down or pouring down, I think it said. Um... And it's about somebody done somebody wrong. Got thinking about the song Noah Racing, which you know how I feel about Noah Racing. I said it's about Journey. It's about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. It's about, uh, you know, something to hide. The Infinity album has got the same lyrics. I've talked about that a bunch of times before. But I've never really thought about Jonathan Cain uh, in there, you know, as a separate uh, little side there. I know, you know, talking about journey and the reunion it's just one big picture and neil sean saying you know it's been a long time coming and in the song you know um it's been a long long time since i saw your face traces in my mind i know you know from the song something to hide I, i've got all that but when i was reading that little part the little section in the time cube booklet go check it out for the uh song who's crying now like I said, they wrote it. Uh, Steve wanted to uh, write a song with uh, Jonathan. He called him up, said, come on over. It's raining, rain falling down. And he said the song's about somebody done somebody wrong. But pay attention to Noah, Noah Racing, that little bridge part. It says, told you of my love today. Uh, rain pouring down, rain falling down. Um, uh you laughed at me and sheltered me, turned me on. You won't see me. You won't see how you done me wrong. You know, and metaphorically, you know, uh, speaking, uh, the song's about relationships. No Race is about relationships. And metaphorically, a relationship between Steve Perry and Journey, and especially Neil Sean, and in this instance, uh, Jonathan Cain. Uh, so there you go. That little piece, if you pay attention... You know, I was reading Jonathan's book again, like the third time, and every time you read it, there's something that stands out. And I think it's easy when you're on the outside, and we all need to do this. When you're on the outside, you can see things inside better sometimes than people that are on the inside. Because um, sometimes they're just so up close and maybe too close to the situation that they can't see it. That's why I wish Steve would have an autobiography that way we could find out some more things but with John you could see his points of view but you can also see where he's kind of not seeing the big picture and that's understandable he's only human right uh, but what I do see is the reason why Steve Perry had the uh, broken keys on the album cover I've talked about it before and everybody you know can figure it out for themselves you know the relationship there between these guys. I mean, when you get really up close and personal and you write songs together 
And then on trial by fire, they have this bond, you know, and Steve brings a Bible and it's really personal. And then, you know, Jonathan tells Steve, you know, they're moving on with somebody else, you know, and, and maybe it wasn't all John, but I do know that Steve had a, uh, you know, a dove on top of the guitar of Neil Sean's on the album cover. So why didn't he uh, make up with uh, Jonathan? Well, you know, at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, I do believe they had a chance to talk a little bit and they hugged and everything. Uh, Jonathan, I don't think so. I don't think they really got a chance to go over anything. But here's what I'm saying. I'm not pointing fingers at who's right and wrong. I just think that, you know, there is something there. There is some heartache, some uh, hurts there. And I think it would be cool to sit down and have some coffee because that way you can say, look, this is what happened. You know, instead of avoiding it and going on and say, yep, I remember that and just not not paying any attention to the hurts but sitting down and saying hey this is what happened this is what I trusted in you this is what I believe and both parties can say yep this is what happened you hurt me right here and you know that gives you a chance you know when you go up to somebody and you say this is how you hurt me I just want to let you know it gives them a chance to say I'm sorry uh, I was just thinking about that. I don't know. I just, um, reading that book and thinking about that song, but who's crying now? And you can also go into some more songs on the Traces album, No More Crying. You know, who's crying now? He's, he's talking about the journey situation, I'm sure. You know, in the dark of, not, of the night, uh, you know, he's, he still remembers those days. But, you know, and sometimes in the darkness of your life and when you're all alone you start thinking about the past and, and bringing things up you know and it all comes back to you but to me I think the best way to fix it sit down uh, have some coffee talk it over say this is what happened this is why I was hurt but especially on uh, that end you know I think those guys got close and it's, and especially since Jonathan has went you know into the uh, spiritual side of things and you know married uh, Paula White you know uh, and also Steve brought a Bible to uh, record a trial by fire it kind of shows you that that's what he was interested in and I would hope that you know that wasn't a deterrent from him you know after they kind of had a little argument you know he was really uh, being you know spiritual and I would hope that that wasn't uh, anything that caused him to, you know, run away from that. You know, and like I said, not point any fingers. But to me, you know, if I was Jonathan, just say it. Uh, maybe sit down and say, hey, let's talk this over. This is, you know, what, what did I do? What did you do? You know, how can we help each other? And besides the journey reunion thing that I always talk about, this can make you sleep better at night. This can make you feel better about friends from the past that maybe you've done wrong or they've done you wrong, but you can talk about it, get it out in the open, and go from there and see what happens. You know. And speaking of which, today's Lincoln Brewster's birthday. Is Steve going to be doing something with him? Have to wait and see. Journey's got new music coming out. What's going on there? There's any surprises there? Well, we'll just have to wait and see. It's few days away uh who knows but until next time everybody this is gary stuckey whatever you do don't stop believing god bless you